Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. This is a video we've been waiting for a long time for, and that's us out in the field this spring with a planter. It seems like it's been forever here in Ohio, but we finally got some great planting conditions. And this is a 12 row 1760 that was in our shop about a month or so ago. He said, Adam, I got a used planter, uh, new to me. Uh, I want to make some improvements. I want to see what you have in store for me to make some improvements on this planter. And so I said, well, we can do some fertilizer. We can do some row cleaners and closing wheels. So let's start up front. We've got the Yetter floating 029 row cleaners and they're set in a floating position. And you can see, of course, we're in conventional tillage. And uh, the big job they're doing here is they're moving the large clods out of the way. Up here, you can see it's kind of rough. Back here, we're sorting that stuff off to the side. And then back here behind us, we're planting into a nice, really smooth, uniform seed bed. Let's go back up front. They're set in a floating position, but they can be adjusted to run into no-till in several different scenarios. From there, we put new seed disc openers on the planter. And from there, we did new Keatons. Get up in here, Cody, where you can see this uh, open seed trench where that Keaton's down in there. Okay, see that? sidewall compaction here that's created from them seed discs you can see it there now come back here because we've got the twister closing wheels they're running in the first notch let's go back here and that sidewall compaction is gone you dig down in there it's nice and mellow you get down there to the bottom of the seed trench there's a right there's a kernel right there see it mm-hmm Okay, now let's look at this seed trench edge. It's mellow, it's broken up, it's fractured. That's from the poly spike twisters. Look at these tracks from the poly spikes going in there and doing their job, breaking down that sidewall compaction. Now go back up here to the firmer. See that sidewall compaction? It's smearing, that's smearing, okay? And that's what these closing wheels take out and they're doing it right here. That's beautiful right there. And then for the fertilizer, he said, Adam, I wanna do a two by two out the back. And I said, of course, let's go with our TT300s. We've got our splitter here and orifice on each side to get an even distribution of product. And you can see we're streaming that stuff right here on the ground. It's the easiest, uh, most efficient way to put down fertilizer, no bearings, no blades. Uh, very cost effective and this loose dirt is just going to soak up that product and we're not going to lose it it's only going to be a high of 72 this week uh, beautiful conditions it's not like we're having 90 degree heat to absorb this stuff very simple uh, cost effective setup here on this planter i'd put something like this up against a lot of the the higher tech options and uh, beautiful setup happy customer here with a new to him 12 row uh, out here in Coldwater, Ohio. Thanks for tuning in.